Let's go. Hello there and welcome. Marcus Dio here. Welcome to Marcus Dio's Freedom Breakthrough YouTube channel. This video is designed for network marketers and entrepreneurs to help revamp your mindset and to learn marketing tactics that can help you to start generating leads, thus potentially leading to an increase in sales. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a beat on the latest up-to-date information. In today's video, I want to share with you how to Photoshop using Pixomatic app. If you take the time to listen with intent and understand what I'm about to share with you, you'll be able to Photoshop within a matter of minutes and not have to spend countless hours figuring out how to use a Photoshop software. So you're probably wondering, what have I been using to create those Photoshop images of myself in my thumbnails? Well, I'm gonna show you using the Pixomatic app. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna access the Pixomatic app on my phone. By the way, you can get this app on the iPhone or you can also get it on Android as well. So I'm accessing the Pixomatic app right now. As you can see, I have different things cut out here. And if I scroll all the way at the bottom, you can see some of my cutout images I've done for my YouTube thumbnails. So you might be sitting here and wondering, how do I actually do that? I'm gonna show you right now. So what you're gonna do here, you open up the Pixomatic app, you see where it says photos? You're gonna click there, and then you're just gonna select the photo of your choosing. So for this example, Let's say I wanna use this image. So you select your image, and then what you're gonna do from here is see where it says on the very bottom you have all these different options? Select cut, which is right here at the bottom of the screen. So select that, and it's gonna give you the option to enlarge your brush. You can either make it really big or you can make it really small. However way you wanna do it, you can adjust the sizing of the brush. And what you're gonna go ahead and do from here is you're gonna trace the outline that you wanna cut with your finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. So you wanna cut out the picture like this. Now don't worry if you don't get it exactly because you're gonna be able to you know, put some finishes to it. So what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna click next and it's processing. And this is what it will do. Okay, so from here, it cut out pretty good, but let's say you wanna get rid of some of the pink background because whatever's highlighted in pink, that's what will be cut out from the entire image. So as you can see, there's still some pink, excess pink coming off the image. So you can actually go ahead and clean that up and you have some options here. You can either erase or fill. So in this case, we're gonna erase some of this pink right over here. Okay, so I cleaned up the image, but as you can see, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but as you can see, there's still some excess pink showing from the background. So what you can actually do from here is you can actually erase. Well, here's the beautiful part about this. Let's say you don't you want to zoom in on the image. All you have to do is use your fingers to go like this on your screen to enlarge it like that. And what you can do from here is you can adjust the sizing of your brush. Let's say I want to make it smaller so that I can trim out the excess pink. Okay, so as you can see, I just went ahead and removed some of the excess pink that was showing from the background. But let's say I wanna fill in this piece right here from the image because it would be a little weird to cut part of myself off. So what you can do is you can select fill. So make sure you select fill and you can, again, adjust the sizing of your brush and you can go ahead and 
fill in the areas that you want. And then what you're gonna do from here, once you've cut the image out from the image itself, and you like it the way it is, so what you're gonna do from here, you're gonna click apply. It's processing. And then you wanna make sure from here, you wanna go ahead, see where it says that three dots button that's connected? You wanna click that and it's gonna give you an option. Save image or save cut. I recommend that you save cut. We're gonna do that for this example. Save cut. And it shows that it's been saved. So what you're gonna do from here to view your cut, exit out, reset. It's gonna ask you to reset session. Click reset. Then from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to cut. And you're gonna scroll all the way bottom at the bottom to find your cutout image. And there you go. Now you just learned how to Photoshop using Pixomatic. Now, this is a lifesaver because honestly, who's got time to learn how to actually Photoshop images using a Photoshop software when you could be literally using this app and look how clean that looks. That looks very good. You can actually add backgrounds to your cutout images and you can place your cutout image in front of the background so that you can have thumbnails that look like what I've done on my YouTube channel. And it's really fun to use this app because you can also do all cool sorts of things with this app. So there you have it. I trust you got value out of this video and now you know how to Photoshop within a matter of minutes using Pixelmatics so that you can add your Photoshopped images to your YouTube thumbnails. If you enjoyed this video, click on the link below. It'll drive you to a page. Put your name and email in there to get the free information on how you can start the journey just like I have. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can get all the latest videos that I will be doing coming your way very soon. With all that said, my name is Mark Castillo. See you on the next video real soon. Take care and see you around.